You're watching Danger Close Customs. Do it yourself. Pistol grip conversion for a Daewoo DR200. This is needed because they no longer sell pistol grips for this rifle. You can buy some off eBay, but those are 3D printed from home kits that still need to be cut out. This way you can use a standard AK style pistol grip to convert for your DR200. Today we'll be looking at the Daewoo DR200. This is a piston driven AR style rifle out of Korea. Um, they import these in by Kimber in Oregon. Um, this weapon is somewhat like an AK and somewhat like an AR. Uh, some of the features, I'll show you that the action is clear. One of the features that makes this like an AR is it does have a bolt hold open and a bolt release paddle. These are imported into the country. They have to come with a thumb hole style stock. And this butt stock is quite ugly, but it is usable. Um, I'll put that out here so you can see. Uh, the reason for the thumb hole stock is it imports. Um, it comes in a sporting rifle. It cannot have a pistol grip. And so um, one of the things that, that we need to discuss about putting on a pistol grip um, and changing out the stock is you do need to add US made parts. It's recommended that you just replace your trigger group this rifle does take a standard AR trigger group so you can replace that and you'll have um, the additional parts you need for USA compliance a lot of folks say you can just cut down your pistol grip I'll show you that I did cut this one and it is a uh, somewhat odd shaped odd angled and uh, ugly uh, but usable solution and today we'll go over how to make your own out of a AK saw style pistol grip. And these can be found for about $5 uh, to $10 online. And I'll show you how to convert this grip. Um, fairly easy to do. And then you'll have a uh, saw pistol grip that you can put on your DR200. And as you can see here, um, the custom fitting needs to be done, but then you can also customize the angle of the grip. So here we are with the saw style pistol grip. And on here, I've painted the parts that you need to cut. You can use a saw, a Dremel. Uh, you can even use a handsaw or a file. So this already has a groove cut out that fits perfectly with the DR200 um, receiver groove for the pistol grip. And so you just cut this piece here and, and cut a little bit on this side so that it, it matches. As you can see, these are um, the parts that come in a little bit and you just need to relieve that. On the back, you just make two cuts uh, along here um, to take out the rear piece. And then once you make two cuts, I just use the bandsaw. Once I make two cuts right here and right here, then um, I just use some clippers and uh, able to just, this is plastic, you just clip out the rest of this piece right here and you'll be all set. So when I put that on, it's going to be at a very uh, uh, tight angle, as you can see here. And that's not optimal for the grip. Now, some people may like that aggressive of an angle, but it's not the right shape. So the easy fix to that is to just, um, once you've got it, it fitted to the slots, is you just sand this, this side here. You just sand, uh, this part will be a little high. And as you sand it, um, you will be able to change the contour of the shape and bring it uh, flatter to where you want it. One so, trick I have to sand down your pistol grip is just to use a belt sander like this. I just put it on the edge of the table and I went like this and just rotated it and just sanded off the, the angle that I wanted till I got to, you can see closer here. Just cut a little bevel of the angle here, and then you'll be able to put the grip on it. There's a hole already cut. You put that in on the inside of the receiver. You just put a bolt with a nut. Unlike an AK where the bolt is going from the pistol grip up into the receiver into a nut, on this rifle, on this receiver, you just put a, a bolt coming down and then you just put a nut on this end. 
you can see, um, put a nut on that end and then you'll be able to tighten it down and the grip is tight. So I want to show you guys just an alternative way to get a, a nice pistol grip on your DR200. You can see this has some grooves in it, which kind of aesthetically match up with the grooves in the handguard, which I like. And uh, I highly recommend this weapon. This is a um, Stormworks uh, rail kit. The old rail uh, used to have some spacers that go in here and they put the, the rail bar way up high. Um, this new rail system is it bolts down directly. Uh, the receiver already has the holes uh, drilled and threaded and you just, it comes with bolts and you just bolt it on and you'll be able to have a low rise Picatinny rail for optics and still use your iron sights. Thanks for watching my video. I've always wanted a DR200. Uh, they feature them a lot in Asian movies, especially Korean movies. Uh, recently, it was in the Train to Busan 2 Peninsula movie. And here's a clip from that that got me excited to want to buy this gun. you are watching Danger Close Customs, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more gun reviews, customization, and shooting videos. Thank you.